Hello, all your lovely airbrushes. As it's a really horrible rainy day today, I've already been out in it, done an hour's hack on the horses, got absolutely drenched. Um, yeah, so I've come home, got changed, and thought, as I've got a bit of time on my hands, we're going to carry on with the fashion style uh, stencil sheets. So today I'm going to do a few designs with stencil, stencil sheet number two fashion style and number three just random I'm just going to pick some out and we'll put some designs together with that so I've got my tips ready we'll start easy peasy with the blue one so again I've put my color on I've top coated it so all I've got to do now is give it a quick buff with a nice soft buffer because we don't want to scratch it we just want to take the shine off this is A, so the top coat in after holds well, and B, your design's got a little bit more to grip hold of, so the paint can grip hold of the nail a little bit more. Okay, so we'll start with an easy one. That's that done, and buffed. Get your dust off. And I'm just going to start with the feather, which is on number two. Okay, so there's my feather stencil. I've already sorted them all out. Got them nicely onto my sticker book. And I'm just going to randomly stick it on. I want these feathers to be blue and white. So I'm going to start with white. Start my gun over. Test my white, which I do on my glove. Yeah, that's spraying nicely, not spitting. So we're all ready to go. So I'm just going to do mainly the outside of the pattern. I'm going to do it nice and white. And I want it quite intense, so make sure your sticker is on properly. So I'm just spraying fairly close. it really quite intense so it pops out so I'm just going to go over it especially on the outlining quite a few times to get that intense as we remember from the first video best way to get a good coverage is to just layer then try and spray a little paint at once because then you'll just make a big smudgy mess. Yeah, you want to layer it. So I'm now swapping over to my blue. And as you can see here on the kitchen roll, I, I think you can see this. The closer I go, the finer the line in. Yeah, if I go up, it spreads out more, okay? So I just want the middle of this feather blue. So I'm just going to aim. Draw the middle. Now, if you've gone too far and you want your outside a bit more white, just go back over with your white. That's not a problem at all. So I'm going just to do that now to make it pop a little bit more. Make sure it's not spitting at you. Just on the outside again. with your white. A little bit more there. And there you've got a nice blue and white feather which will look beautiful on this on this nail. Because that's a bit boring we'll just add a few more here on the side. So white again. really white so that's gone a little bit wet now can you see that so I'm just going to make sure my gun's okay let it dry a minute you can even dry it off with your gun so I'm not spraying any paint at the moment just air to dry it off a bit and then accordingly obviously I've got to go over it now I'm getting paint now 
bit spitting, there we go. Just got to go over it a little bit more now, just to cover that wet mess, which works most of the time. If it doesn't work, then you're better off just taking the design off with a bit of a pale varnish remover and starting again, which isn't a problem, it takes two minutes. A bit of blue in the middle. Carefully take it off. There we go. And I'm just going to put another one on this side here. You'll see in a minute, just a nice, quick, easy design. Always check your gun before you spray. Nice and white. Always remember to bring the lever up first before you release. Otherwise you get paint into your valve and then when you're going to release air it's going to splatter out paint which we don't want. Put up blue again in the middle. And there's your easy design. I do feel that needs something else. So I'm going to just do a big one. That way, you can keep looking at it. If you feel, oh no, it needs a bit more, add a bit more. If you feel you can finish it off with just some some dots, a little bit of glitter, or maybe some gems, then you can do that. It's a very open open thing, really. You know, it's it, it, it's not you can't do it. You know, if it goes, why not? You can do as much or as little as you like. Of course, it very much depends on your client as well. Depends on how much they want on their nail. A lot of times you will only find out, you know, they maybe just want an accent nail. There we go, that's better. I'm quite happy with that. Just one accent nail. You know, by the time that's top coated, it looks very nice and I will show you that after. So that was number one. Just get rid of that. Very simple two-tone design. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. So on this one, use like a brownie movie colour and I put a little bit of shimmer over the top of it. Because with that then you can see what we call the negative designs popping out, which looks lovely. Is that the more you put on, and if you put it all in the right places, and a lot of times I, I try as well, you know, it's not like I know it all. Some things you just got to try, and if they work, they work, and if they don't, they don't, and you know not to do it again next time. Just play with it, you know, when you've got time to sit, get some tips out and play with it. So. What I'm going to show you now is the mixture of positive and negatives, which is pretty cool. Negatives are things like this. This is the inside of a swirl design. Okay, so I'm going to just pop that bit there. I'm going to get another one and just pop a little bit there yeah so i'm going to use my white now for this i've got to make sure my white sprays really really nicely so i'm just going to check the pop top of the needle and yes it's got a few little dried up bits which i'm just taking off here now very gentle because the paint of course it dries so quickly it sometimes leaves little crumbs on the tip of your needle which then makes it a little bit rather than spray. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to very, very, I'm going to try and position myself so you can see, gently spray around this swirl. 
just very lightly. You don't want it too much. Check my gun's working. Nice and gentle. Just want a little shadow. Of course, if you've done it a little bit too strong, you know, not all is lost, don't worry. It's still going to look nice. Okay. I'm just taking them off. Sticking them back on. Because, of course, you can reuse them. So, that's what we call a negative design. Okay. So let's now go in with some swirly leaves and you can put all this on top of each other, it's absolutely no problem whatsoever. Just going to spray that one white before I change the blue into a green. I'll turn it this way you can so you can a bit better. I'm spraying the whole thing white because of course where I've sprayed my negative design where the lines are I need to cover them you don't want to see them after. Shake my green, pop a bit of green in, you don't need a lot, then test is coming out green, so I'm just going to put accents of green on there, so in the middle of the leaf, little bit of the stem just random and I'm going to leave some bits white because it looks more light that way there's my leaf done I'm going to do exact same from the other side because I'm going to put um, a flower in the middle you're not going to get it all on, which is fine, you don't need to. This is absolutely fine like that. So back to white. Just remember some colours are transparent, so they need a white underneath it, which I think always looks good anyway because it gives you a bit more, it makes it look a bit more alive when you have it in two tones. Test, there we go. So just give it a quick fast squirt out on the kitchen roll there. Like I said, sometimes because the paint dries so quickly, they um, sometimes little bits of crumbles of dried up paint get stuck and then it wouldn't spray so nice and clean, that's the problem. So again, a bit of green. Random. If you want it a bit darker, just go over a bit more. There we go. So now I'm going to get one of the flowers. Just 
just giving it a quick blow to dry up. Try and place the flower in the middle. Because I've sprayed it a little bit too wet, I've just got to take this off. You see where the stickers took off some of the paint? Yeah, this is what we don't want. So easy ways either with some nail varnish remover or just buff it. Just buff it off, there we go. So that's what you've got to be careful with, is that you don't spray too wet. It needs to be nice and dry, okay? There you go. It's good. Good job that happened really because then you can see, you know, a my spraying isn't always perfect and we have a troubleshooting already. So we're just going to start all over again with the negatives. Back to white. Just it spray nicely, yep. Yeah. And here we go. Nicely around the design. As dry as you can. So we're going to take them off. There you go. Look, we've got a little bit of a different design. Okay, so back to the negatives. And then back to the leaves. Just give it a few seconds to dry so we don't have the same problem again. Okay, that should be it. So I'm just going to place that there. A bit of white, remember, don't go too wet. bits on the swells. Just going over to dry it. Hopefully that will work. Take it off nice and carefully. And we'll just do another one here. And don't worry if it all looks a little bit dull. By the time you've top coated it, the top coat will bring it all out nice and nice and strong and of course again if you want color to be stronger just go over more with the color it's in your hands how you want it so remember you want to cover your negative shadows just make sure you go over it enough accordingly, yeah? You don't want that shining through after. Then we the green on the leaves. A little bit on the swells. Take it off nice and carefully. And there's your leaves done. Okay. Again, give that while that's drying. I'm going to spray out my green. I mean, of course, you can use more than two guns if you like. That's entirely up to you. But because not everybody wants to have that many guns. You can do it like this. So, you know, it's quick enough. It's not like it takes forever. Right. Back 
to our flower. So I'm just going to try and place that nicely in the middle. And one second. here now is red. Cadmium red it's called and this one actually is called Total Cover and it covers without a white. So I can put that straight on there and the more you go over you can see how it's going to cover the bits of green leaf. Over and over because I want a nice intense coverage. And always try and get right into your edges so you've got a nice clean finish. deep red now. There we go. So what I want to do now is I do want to put a little bit of white around the edge. See that was it spitting there? Could you see that? Because there's a dry dub bit somewhere so I'm just testing it. No, there's still dry dub bits so I'm just going to pull the back Move it for back and forward a couple of times, give it a shoot back on my kitchen roll. Test again and that's better. So I'm going to go up quite close now. Now it's still spitting, so there must be something dried up here. Yeah, got a tiny little tiny little bit on the needle. Which I've just got off. Check it, make sure it's there. We go, that's better. So I'm going quite close. I'm just trying the edges. It's still spitting a little bit, so there's obviously some dried up bits in my well, which is rubbish. So I'm just going to go over the middle again with the red. Just to get rid of those little speckles. This is it guys, if you keep cleaning them properly you're not going to get that problem anymore so that's that's okay. So we are just spraying the middle here. Playing up now. I'm really annoyed about but I think we can cover that up okay now 
we don't have to finish here. We can now use what we've got here. We have got berries. We've got butterflies. Look, we can use the butterflies. Let that dry. Now, here's a good one for covering your mistakes. Or if this happened, you know, the paint has pulled off. So we've done quite a bit of colour, so really all we want now is just a plain black for the butterflies. Butterflies are on, I'm just going to get some black, get rid of the red. Should be all the red gone. Bit of black in there. going to spray the butterflies red. Red, black, sorry. Totally losing the marbles here. There's one lot. Now very carefully remove your stencil. Here we go, covered up. There's number one, and I think we'll do another two down here, coming off and onto the flower. There we go. In black. Nice and easy. you get all the edges and again nice and careful take it off there you go oh sorry <laughs> here we are so we've done negatives positives we've done leaves we've done a flower and we've done butterflies yeah so you've covered most of your mistakes or where it's taken away the pain. So by the time you've top coated that, you can't really see it anymore. You know, nothing in nature is perfect anyway. But yeah, guys, always make sure your paint is extremely dry before putting the next one. And when you pull them off, pull them off carefully. I will show you all these tips afterwards when they're completely done. Now we go onto this one, and I want to show you the full cover ones. They're also really, really nice. So we've got a nice, Shimmery blue, well, extreme shimmery blue. Go on this one. And the full colour designs are also really, really good. Very beautiful. Back to my nail. We'll go for the one from what here two or three it doesn't really matter um let's go for this one this one place it on make sure all of your nails covered and just for easiness all I'm going to do is just spray it black because obviously in the salon we want everything easy, easy and quick, quick nail art designs. But just literally go over with your black. Make sure you're getting all the edges because it always looks a nicer finish. Holding it down here. And here. And I want it quite intense black.
So unless you sprayed extremely wet, that is dry now. You've got beautiful design. By the time that's top coat, it's going to look really, really nice, even just for an accent nail. Okay, so here we've done three designs. Number four. Okay, let's pop that. I have just randomly chose different colours just so you can see. You can do oh, you can do this with any colour you wish really. Any colour and any colour on top. And as long as the colours go together, it's absolutely fine. It's not a problem at all. Right, so because I've just had black in here, obviously I want to get rid of the black, so I'm just going to spray it through a few times with my water. Because like I said before black is a little bit harder to get rid of. I'm just going to make double sure it's all gone. So that's that all gone. Now we can colour fade a little bit with this as well, which is pretty cool. So um, I'm just going to use a little bit of red on this. see best. Okay, so let's colour fade from the tip down and this tip keeps moving away on me. So let's try on this one, see if that holds better. Yep, there we go. So test my red. And just spray in. So the tip of course you want a little bit more intense. Smooth down the nail. Let it fade in. I find that is the easiest way to colour fade. That's top coated, it looks brilliant. Okay, here we go. Let's let that dry a little bit. Mm, just trying to think what we're gonna put on this one. Um, good question, good question. Let's just do. a little bit I'm going to do the bottom red I'm gonna do like a colour fade with this as well. So I've done that red now I'm gonna get my white idea what this is going to look like but we'll soon find out. Of course need to aim a bit because you don't want to go over that stencil. That's 
it from the right and then let us fade to the bottom. Again, I'll show you all this top coated after and you can see and let me know what you think. So as you can see, dead easy design. Now, if you're colour fading with the tip of the nail, as in the free edge, what I would suggest, instead of just top coating it, because what can happen is top coat can um, break away from the free edge sometimes, what I would do is I would put a layer of builder gel, a thin layer of builder gel, cap your free edge and then top coat it and then you know you're in the clear and everything's good. Yeah? Okay, last one. So a nice little oh, pretty one here. So we're gonna use some nice lighter colours. Let's see what we can do on this one. I love the fairy, so maybe we should do something with the fairy. Do you like the fairy? Well, we like the dragonflies too, don't we? Okay, let's do something with the fairy. So, we've got these circles. Yeah, they're the circles on this one. See them? So you can use the inside of the circle or you can use the actual circle, yeah? Let's use the actual circle. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to make sure my white's working nicely now. I need a few more drops in there because we've run out. because I haven't cleaned it. Okay. I think I've got most of it out. There we go. Put it back on nice and careful. Right. Now we want to make something like an air bubble almost. So all we want to do is we want to go around the edge of this circle. Yeah, nice and Nice and easy, quite close. Test it on your stencil first. If your white's coming out quite nicely, then that will do. And then just make a all, all the way around. but not the middle, don't hit the middle. Take your stencil off. And there's your bubble. Yeah? Just for practice and sake, we'll do another one, but I'll just do a half of one up here. Test again. Put a bit of a shoot out. And a half a bubble. and simple. I'll just do a couple more because it just it looks really nice. You could keep it keep it like this if you wanted to. Just top coat it and you know job done. 
just depends on how much you want to do. I'm just going to do a few, just so you see what it looks like. Nice and steady. And another half of one. So you've seen plenty of this now, and now you know you do not need to use the full stencil. It looks pretty beautiful just like that. Just get rid of my gun a second, put that down. Now what looks really nice, we'll get the little fairy which is on sheet number three. And we'll just put her to get rid of my red again and get my black which is fine give it a quick wash through if you feel like you need to pop a bit of black in there always just a little tiny bit because you don't want to waste half of it and just spray my fairy Like I said before, if you feel it spitting, just pop a bit of air on it. So pull away your paint and just pop a bit of air on it. So that's the fairy. I'm just going to look for a little dragonfly. There's a dragonfly. keep it in black because sometimes you don't want to mix too many colours. So I'm just sticking it down. And what you can even do is you can shade with the same colour. So I've done the very quite intense black but the dragonfly only a little bit. Yeah, so that looks beautiful too. So we'll have another one coming this way. She was all stuck down nicely. job done. So you've got a fairy sitting on the bubble, a couple of dry dragonflies coming her way and that looks pretty beautiful. We could, if we wanted to, um, just stick a little butterfly in there as well, just to confuse matters. Just sticking on the little one, not the big one. Just aim for that. Because I always feel like if you put one one side, you've got to put one the other. So we'll just stick one up here as well. And I think then we have pretty much got it. There we go. So quick, easy designs, not a lot of mucking about. Like I said, with the negatives, positives, you know, of course, the more you put on, the more lively it looks. But you can see you can make it simple or as hard as you would wish. So I'm just going to top coat them and finish them off with a few dots and stuff like that. And then you can see the end result. So I'm just going to pause you for a second. 
Okay, so here I'm back. So remember this was design ideas for fashion style. Stencil sheets number two and three. Yeah, you'll see what's on them, different the different things and how you can mix them all together. So this is our end result. That's our end result. Okay. Now the only one I tweaked a little bit is this one, and that was simply. Let me just turn this light off, so because it's making big rings, isn't it? Which we don't want. There we go. We can see that a bit better now, can't we? So the only one I tweaked was this one. And that was simply because with the stencil I put on top, the stencil sticker, I put a little bit of the green away. So you can see, even if you do make a slight mistake, you can cover it up and it still looks nice. Yeah, it's for you to work out whether it's minor enough to be able to tweak so it looks good again or not. But just look at them top coated now, they've really popped, haven't they? And it just... It looks amazing and it was pretty quick wasn't it it was all quite good so take care guys i will do some more with the next lot of stencil sheets um, as i'm going through all the fashion style ones just to give you some ideas and see what you can actually do with them you know how big the variety is so i will carry on soon with the next lot so you take care and i'll see you soon bye